After years of civil war, Somalia is now gradually emerging from a prolonged crisis spanning over two and a half decades by taking a path to long-term peace and state building. Despite the progress, Somalia still faces challenges that are complex, multifaceted and differ according to various political, social and regional contexts. The Somali Compact lays a strong foundation for building reliable, transparent, accountable and functioning state institutions respectful of the fundamental rights, freedoms and equality of its citizens. It provides an overarching strategic framework for coordinating political, security and development efforts for peace and state building activities from the year 2014 to 2016. With the end of the constitutionally mandated terms of the federal government and parliament, 2016 is a decisive year for Somalia. We as AMISOM are already working with the Somali government, Somali security forces, to ensure that a technical security committee is in place to oversee and take the required steps for the security to be guaranteed during the upcoming election. We'll be going home when the Somalis feel that uh, we have overstayed their hospitality. And we'll go home when we are convinced that uh, we have fulfilled our mandate as African Union. The Peace and Security Council of the African Union at its 69th meeting held on 19th January 2007 authorized deployment of an AU peace support mission in Somalia. The initial mandate was to last for six months, but subsequent AU communiques and UN resolutions have extended the mandate up to 8th July 2017. AMISOM is mandated to take all necessary measures in full compliance with its obligations under international humanitarian law and human rights law and in full respect of the sovereignty, territorial integrity, political independence and unity of Somalia to reduce the threat posed by Al-Shabaab and other armed opposition groups. We have your kind permission to march off the guard. The mandate further includes supporting dialogue and reconciliation in Somalia, providing protection to the federal government of Somalia and assisting with implementation of the Somali national security plans. <laughs> Other tasks include the creation of necessary security conditions for the provision of humanitarian assistance, assisting the federal government of Somalia to extend state authority in areas recovered from Al-Shabaab and protecting its personnel, facilities, installations, equipment and mission. The AMISOM police component is mandated to build individual and institutional capacity of the Somali federal police and state police institutions with the aim of transforming them into credible and effective organizations that adheres to international standards. As we all know, with the fall of the Said Barra regime, all government institutions collapsed, and one of the institutions being the police. So it's our job to revive this policing institution and build 
the institution so that they can perform the policing functions and police Somalia as well as provide protection, security and stability to the communities of Somalia. The second one is the individual capacity building that is basically training the police, uh, pro providing them with basic police training as well as uh, specialized police training for them to fulfill their policing functions in Somalia. And the last aspect is that we are actively involved in joint operations as well as policing activities within communities and in the city. Amisun police comprises of officers drawn from six African countries deployed as individual police officers or members of formed police units. We have two units of formed police units in Amisun police component, one from Uganda and one from um, Nigeria. These two units are based here in Mogadishu. And we have the individual police experts. These are police experts in various fields deployed to the mission. We have a manager strength of 113 of such officers. And lastly, we have the senior leadership team, which comprises of professional police officers contracted by African Union Commission um, to lead the police component. And uh, we have a mandated strength of seven officers in the senior leadership team. So altogether, we have 540 police officers in three categories. In June 2012, Uganda deployed the first formed police unit in Somalia comprised of 140 officers to serve under the AMISOM umbrella. Okay. We shall make very important achievements to help the Somali people to, to stabilize and recover peace and security. They were later followed by Nigeria in July 2012 with the same number of formed police officers, all under the AU mandate of providing operational support to Somali police force. Hello! Hey! Between August and September 2016, Somalia is expected to go into elections to legitimize the final ratification of the constitution by electing their new leaders. What will be the role of Amisom police in this critical and crucial period? We want to have a peaceful election and we are really in plans. We have intensified patrols. Even you can see that the number of cordon and searches have increased in a month. We have three or four, five cordon and searches. Amisom police component has an authorized strength of 540 personnel in its area of responsibility, South Central Somalia. Police aims at consolidating policing in Banadir region and reactivating policing in the state capitals of interim regional administrations in support of community recovery and extension of state authority. This will be followed by expansion of operations from the state capitals to police divisions and stations in the regions to strengthen the capacity of the state police to deliver policing services. Despite the inadequate strength, Amazon police achievements since inception in 2009 are remarkable. We've managed to establish policing, that's number one. Uh, not in all areas, yes, in Mogadishu itself, you'd probably know it's a safe city. Uh, business is booming, there's traffic in there. So for that to take place, definitely that we are doing something. We have established the gender desks. If you go to a police station called Abdulaziz here in Mogadishu, you'll find that the gender desk is very, very active. We've put a, another one at police headquarters, but the one of Abdulaziz, because it is near the community, people are reporting cases of rape. People are reporting cases of child abuse. People are reporting cases of domestic violence, and it is being handled. We've built a, a proper airport police station, airport police station, so we all know that, you know, the airport itself is a gateway to Somalia, it's the entrance 
and people feel secure, safe when they arrive at a place and see uh, a police station that's built and policing is being provided, the environment is secure. So this has been achieved by us. Uh, we've provided that. Then also with regards to equipment, you know, training the police officers do not ensure that listen, they can do the job. We developed what they called uh, a software, a database software for fingerprinting of the SPF. Why are we doing this? We want to know. We don't really have the proper number. They say there are 6,000, there are 7,000, there are 5,000. We want to know what is their number. And we've managed to, to, to set up the, 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 the database system for them. So now what we are doing, helping them with capturing their fingerprints, knowing their number, this will help them in future with accountability. So if they are looking for Bashir, where is Bashir? Where is Bashir deployed? They will just go to the system. Oh, I think Bashir now we've deployed him in in Baidoa. Oh, but as he had this training, no, it will also help them with their payroll system and accountability. You can be able to know the number you have, how many people of a certain age who are about to retire. We also try through mobilizing of funding uh, to provide basic equipment for the police officers, which we are doing. There's vehicles that's been provided, there's motorcycles, handcuffs, uniforms. So we are trying our best to try and build their capacity, providing the equipment, providing them with advisory and mentoring services, and also at the same time deploying them to areas where there were no police officers previously. We do training. Leave alone this mentoring of Onjo, but we, we are the police training schools. There's a training school here called the General Kai. We are the police training school. We have trainers. We make sure that we bring police officers with the skills. So we want trainers, because remember our mandate is to build the capacity of the SPF. So we come with the trainers. We, say, we tell countries, send us trainers. These are people who have been training in the police training schools in our countries. So these are the people who come and we have placed them in the training schools. We are building relationships between community and police and this in itself is building the sense of security within and there's more trust in the police as such. This cordon and search operation is one of the many activities that Amisom police conduct with the Somali police force to wipe out criminals mostly in Mogadishu and its neighboring villages. We have been recovering so many things like guns and even arresting the, the suspected suburbs and that's the result of some of this cordon and search. So let us see. You stab it. Okay, carry the bag and go. And this is one of the many trainings that the Amisom police carries out to equip the Somali police force with acceptable international standards in keeping law and order and building capacity while on peacekeeping missions. Between 2009 and now, we have trained uh, close to 5,919 uh, police officers. Um, made up of uh, 657 females and 5,262. Um, basically, we've been looking at uh, basic recruit training, cadet training, then uh, other specialized uh, courses uh, for the officers. Amisom, through Quick Impact's projects, was able to either build new police stations or rehabilitate existing structures in Duble, Kadale, Mahas, and Jalalaxi. <laughs> A modern police station was also constructed at the Aden Abdullah International Airport and handed over to the Somali police force. It provides policing services to all domestic and international visitors as well as the citizens of Somalia within the airport vicinity. Amisom Police continues to mentor and provide advisory support to the Somali police in Mogadishu, Baidoa, Balatwain and Kismayo. The officers are provided with an on-job training on core police functions. Presently, over 3,000 Somali police officers are benefiting from the program. Ah
Asal ke sana. The challenge of re-establishing the integrity of the Somali police in order to restore public trust and confidence still haunts the institution. Amisom Police, jointly with Somali Federal and State Police, is using community policing strategy as a tool to win the hearts and minds of the Somali people in the fight against crime. Amisom Police managed to help plan, organize and commence several community engagements in the form of town hall meetings, community forums and soccer tournaments aimed at fostering police-community partnership. This song by the Somali police band that has now attracted the attention of the local and international media is one of the many ways in which the community and the police can truly work together for their common good so that all Somali citizens can trust their police. However, all these achievements have come at a high price. When we started policing in 2007, a lot of the people that were taken in were former police officers. Old police officers that were here as police officers in 1991 and beyond. So in order to start building the institution, you couldn't take anyone new because they didn't understand policing. And now we've come to a stage where we feel that these older police officers are resisting change. They want the police to be a national policing entity and not divided in terms of the two levels, the federal police and the state police. Uh, they believe what they had in 1991 was the best then and they want it to be the same. They haven't realized that police has evolved from 1999, 1991 to now and they need to embrace the change that's taken place with policing throughout the world. There is no legislation. So you'll find that the Police Act is uh, a bit up outdated, it's of 1972 that needs to be amended. Most of the efforts are being focused on the military. A lot of support is going towards the military because it's Al-Shabaab and they feel that Al-Shabaab needs to be defeated first before any other support without realizing that the police also plays a very important role in terms of stabilization and also community safety and protection. Community feels safer, more information and more, we'll gain more knowledge about Al-Shabaab, the activities from communities itself. And funding, everything is more directed to the military and more support provided to the military without realizing that short term as well as long term, if they provide support to the police in, in years from now, they will guarantee stability of this country. We have only two FPUs from the police units, from Uganda and from Nigeria and these people do operational work and they are only in Mogadishu but Baido also needs them, Beletwin also needs them, you know Kismai also needs them and for these people they do a lot of work apart from patrols, apart from cordon and such, they also do escort duties. They escort us, the IPOs who are supposed to go do mentoring, they are supposed to escort them to those police stations and do mentoring and give them protection but they are not in those places. So now we rely mostly on military, but military also has their mandate, you are seeing. So it becomes quite a, quite a very big problem for us. We really need more number in terms of police officers, in terms of FPUs in the, in the, in the mission to be able to enable us achieve our mandate. The type of recruits we're getting are not the people that we'd expect elsewhere due to the fact the educational system collapsed. There was no such thing as educating themselves, so it's very difficult to get police officers of the caliber that we require. The environment is not safe. You don't know why any time they will run through a grenade at the police station. A policeman tries to get out there, he's shot at. So the a working environment is so cruel, so cruel for, for the SPF themselves to, to, to do their their, their work. In some places, police is not there. So it is the militias who are doing the police work. And they are doing it out of the, the law. 
With all these challenges at hand, the monitoring and evaluation team has strived to ensure service delivery in terms of its mandated tasks. We make sure that the activities of the various units are, are performed according to the set timelines. We monitor to see whether we are achieving the set goals and then if not, we use the process as a learning tool to make adjustments in our planning. Somalia's police chief, Major General Mohammed Sheikh Hassan Hamoud, appreciates the services and training by Amisom police, but insists that the challenges ahead of them in achieving their goals are quite enormous. Now we are trying to face, as usual, uh, the system of, you know, the collapsed system of, uh, of the hierarchy of the, of, of the, of the organization and the lack of, uh, of capability to the officers and uh, the age-wise also because there is no welfare system and uh, patient system. Uh, there is, you know, a lot of, of, of challenges regarding that, but uh, they are trying to, to, to serve their community without having you know, the basic training or the knowledge needed to have, you know, the, for the police officer who is uh, serving the community. The question, however, is, has Amisom police made an impact in the peace-building mission in Somalia? If you look now to uh, Mogadishu City uh, from 2012 up to, and 2015 or 16, you, you can find a you know, big difference because now life is coming back. All the diaspora people are coming back by, 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 by injecting their knowledge to the government or other agencies as well as injecting their money to small business. So now the city is very, very busy and, and that's part of, uh, of, of what we have uh, thanked for Amisom's you know, uh, presence. Who, who's and, uh, and, and, and would like to take this opportunity also to thank the troop contributed countries who are, who are losing their beloved people here, you know, because of Somali stability. Amisom Police's exit strategy will be underpinned by concerted efforts geared towards expanding policing services to all recovered areas, consolidating current policing services, and boosting the capacity of the Somali police forces to maintain law and order and the restoration and extension of civil authority to all areas in the mission. As the capacity of the SPF to maintain effective internal security functions as well as rapid response capabilities increase, Amisom Police's role is expected to gradually diminish, leading to drawdown and eventual handover. The Somalis have decided on a model of policing. They've come up with a framework. Now this framework is temporary until it has been embodied into the final constitution of Somalia. So going forward, we're looking at the framework they've designed. So we're assisting in building their police organization, both on the federal level, as well as on the federal state level, uh, which will be autonomous on the federal state level itself. From MOSOM police side, we're assisting with the constitutional review process, uh, the review of the police legislation, the review of all their policies to ensure that there's management of the organization, to build structures both on the federal, state level, uh, train their police officers in terms of the structures that's needed uh, in the functional positions and posts, to organize their management, train their police officers and ensure that they are capable of performing the policing functions in Somalia. Are uh, they able to provide that stability and security for the communities? And once we find that is done, then we are ready to leave and leave them to continue with policing in Somalia. <laughs>